go through the Tiberian Sun uh, rule I and I and walk through here. So we're gonna actually I'm gonna double check here and make sure. CNET, download and play online for free. Nice. Wow, it looks like they brought it back online. Nice. The Green Sun online install. Wow. Huh. They must have also, uh, Must have added a. Uh, must be a new uh, uprise of people playing. Cool. There we go. There we go. So 1.2 gigabyte, yep, there we go. So obviously you can see that the download is, you just gotta suss around, um, I thought it was on the, just right on the Command and Conquer website. CNC com. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it looks like there's uh, kind of been an uproar since I did it. Because when I did it, it was just kind of here's a zip file and download it. But now it looks like there's been new uh, retrofits to play it online. Hmm. I'll have to try that. But with the, also the rule on I, that won't work. So don't. Uh, yeah, so once you get it. I should give you a rule I and I with it. Well, once it finishes, I'll also double check. But here's my original. Um, actually, I already had it open, so here's my original. Um, here's the edit. So that in pretty much any premise of editing an I and I, it's just basically playing around and changing things and what have you. And all you have to understand is that everything in games like this, everything had to be broken down. Um, actually, I guess it's in everything, every game, but in I and I form, it has to be broken down in I and I form for these particular games. And that means that everything has a defined damage, storage point, uh, you name it. Everything's defined in some way or another. It's a question of learning how that's defined and um, how to change it um, is key. And when you're talking about simple swapping around weapons, armor, and storage of things, it's not very difficult. Um, it's when you get into more difficult... Or, like trying to give GDI um, or Nod, you know, giving making Nod have the capability of building everything of GDI, then that gets a little more difficult in figuring out how to get that all to work. Um, if you want like a combined team, so that way when you build that MCV, you get GDI options and Nod options, that becomes a little more difficult. But when you're talking about, uh, it's definitely I played with it, and yeah, it's a little more difficult. But when you're talking about changing weapons and stuff, it's very easy. So what you want to do is you go here, like mobile repair vehicle for Nod. Um, uses repair bolts, so that's the weapon that it uses. There's the strength of it, the armor of it, the tech level where you get the option for it, so all these things can be edited in order to change, you know, so if you change the tech level to one, it'll pop up as soon as you build your war factory versus having to build a tech center or radar to get the option. 
Same thing with artillery. Um, again, primary weapon, 155 mm cannon. Um, this is my edited one, so you can see the secondary or added uh, Red Eye 2, which is the um, SAM missile. I think the Red Eye is the rocket infantry missile, and the Red Eye 2 is the SAM missile, which is actually considerably more powerful. So I gave it a Red Eye 2. And we'll go here. And um, one thing to learn about navigating uh, text like this is the search option is your friend. So we'll go and you can kind of see the difference between the two. So there's the secondary weapon added in. And as you can see, there is no secondary weapon. Now, when it comes to editing weapon, you think you don't th see any, you know, uh, you know weapon attributes because weapons are defined. So, if you want to increase the power of a weapon, and you see, a deployed is also separate from undeployed. So, you have to change both of them um, when it's driving around, and then once it's deployed, um, every weapon is defined differently or separately. So you want to actually, if you're looking the increase range, rate of fire, um, uh, damage of that weapon, um, or that unit, you're not actually thinking the premises of increasing the unit's damage, you're actually thinking of the, that particular weapon's damage. So, remember that. So if you're trying to increase the range of the artillery, or the damage of the artillery, that's what will do it, is increase the one, or messing with the 155mm cannon attributes. And the sonic zap, that's um, actually the disruptor's weapon, so that's where you find that. So all you have to do is add in sonic zap and as a secondary instead, and bam, it's got disruptor secondaries. There's the repair bullet, um, the heal, which is I believe is the for the medic, yep, for the medic from uh, GDI side. The Vulcan 2, which is actually the machine gun from the GDI's what which may have it, so obviously that could be added to so give the, anybody, you know, change their machine gun to the Vulcan, which is actually considerably better than most uh, laser fire. That's actually the Blease Glites weapon, so you can mess with that or give it as a secondary to another unit. Um, laser Fire 2 is the regular laser, which also can be added. Um, So, but uh, I'm not going to get into too much because uh, it actually takes just practice and just doing it, and I haven't done it for a while, so getting into too much detail is a matter of just kind of getting into it and learning and tweaking things, and so it's an, it's an adventure, so just get in there and whatever you want to play with, play with it and change it around. Best you can do is just make sure you take it back with the original and you mess something up. You got the original to reload and copy back into the folder, and voila, you're back to working order. So it's really nothing you can do that will matter unless you mess up your original. In which case, if you mess up your original and didn't take a backup of it, worst case scenario, you got to re-download the game and just pull the original out of it. So, not a huge deal. So we'll go ahead and we'll bring up, uh, I want to see, make sure this, here's the f first dedication. Ah, looks like they're, uh, yeah, they're definitely coming up with, uh, Coming up with a uh, I got the new uh, uh weird. Yeah, it doesn't have it. I think this new one doesn't. Wow, yeah, they did bring the online function back. All right, well, I guess if you were more of an online player, then but that will actually negate uh, the rule I and I for the most part, unless you get somebody to, I think you, there's a way to get it to work, um, as long as both of you agree to, or it might work in the sense if you host a game, it's going to give the other person all your 
all your corks. Um, I do not see, yeah, this one does not come with it. That's weird. So, Tiberian, uh, Yeah, the old, uh, when they didn't bring back the multiplayer function, they just gave it, hacked the multiplayer function, and the old download, uh, just came with, uh, seeing if uh, the rule i9 can be, because all you really need is the rule i9 text file and that's all you really need. That's There it is. You see, same rule I nigh, no problem. So you can just actually just download. And that rule I nigh just needs to be placed in the sun folder, and voila, it overwrites. That rule I nigh is not technically, they have uh, one that's built into the game. So if you actually just pull the I nigh out to completely, it'll also set it back to default. But that rule I nigh, once it's placed in the sun folder, will overrule all any rules that are in place. So all you gotta do is download the I nigh separately if you want, and do it that way too. Especially if you just have already have an install of the game, all you have to do is download that rule I nigh separately. As you can see, it was pretty simple to search and find. So there you go, Tiberian Sun rule I nigh.